go-to drink when I'm like down at the shops and I'm looking at the fridge. I'm like, I I'm grabbing me a Big M, you know, like a chocolate Big M. Well, actually, no, strawberry. No, wait, hold on. Banana. Banana's actually fire, bro. Once you taste banana, bro, you ain't going back. It's like it's like a, it's like when you suck dick, you can never get the taste out of your mouth. What's up, guys? And yes, and you saw the title in the thumbnail, right? We are playing the Die Rise, but the Starter Room Challenge. So we are not allowed to open up any doors. We're not allowed to go into that elevator. We're only allowed to be in this one area, and we're going to see on how long we last. Now, I'm going to be doing this as in like a series. I'll probably do two uh, of these Bit, like starter room challenges videos. I'm guessing we're only allowed the Olympia because I seriously doubt there's any other gun other than the Olympia. And place your round predictions in the comment section down below on what round do you think I will make it to. I think I will make it to round seven because the Olympia, sorry to say this, is absolute dog shit. But for a starter like room wall buy, the Olympia is still pretty good. And huge shout out to all those that have been showing me love for, and subscribing, liking the videos and all the rest of it. Um, I've uh, breached 400 subscribers. I know I said that in the last Zombies video, but the goal of a thousand subscribers is almost at, almost in our fingertips, or well, in my fingertips. Actually, no, ow, because... Uh, I reckon like content creating is like a team effort. I wouldn't be getting subscribers if it weren't for you guys subscribing and all the rest of it. Now, I did see uh, this issue with Lexify and uh, his ex. Uh, yeah, Twitter is full of Twitter goblins. <laughs> I, uh, I was strong for uh, Twitter and saw these people calling him a, pe a pedophile. And they shit himself and all the rest of it. And one of the zombie YouTubers that I watch um, said yikes uh, and like a bunch of other things about Lexify, even though they weren't even true. So I was, I, was, I unsubscribed to that guy and I'm not saying his name. I saw the most, when I like saw the drama, I was like, holy shit, a lot, like all the zombie YouTubers are saying, like talking about it, like most of them are. I mean, let's be honest, oh shit, okay, yeah, no, this is. Oh, no, no, no. All right, so I'm going to try and uh, get past round three. Uh, <laughs> that was such a bad round. Like, oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, let's keep on talking about the incident. Uh, I'm not going to touch on it for too long. All I'm going to say is people called someone a pedo and, and said that they shook themselves without having any proof that they are that thing. Um... Which is fucking sickening, uh, in my opinion, because when I watched the Lexify video on like his response to all this shit, he literally proved that he was innocent. Still, probably don't believe it because, oh my god, a girl fucking said something, so I'ma believe it because I'm a. F um, enough of that. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you do, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment because, as I said at, at the start of the video, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I probably just lost a couple of subscribers just by talking about that sensitive subject and my opinion on the matter. And to be honest, they're both at fault because it, it takes two to tango. It doesn't take, just take one. Alright. I'm not saying that Lexify is complete is completely in the right and is completely innocent. I mean, we're not all perfect. We're human beings. Get out of the bed, but I haven't been able to get out of bed since like 2 p.m. today. So uh, today's video will be a little bit late. Um, and guess what, guys? I might get my old uh, Twitch back, the one that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, I saw someone followed, a uh, shout, huge shout to Spuddy Uwu. Uh, he followed my Twitch uh, account, like my um, last year's one. I haven't streamed on that since last year because I lost lost it due to some uh, technical issues. Uh, but I hope all of what I'm doing goes to goes right and I'm able to get my account back. Now with the M14, it would be pretty easy to survive, like, higher than round 
f like five because it's got more ammo in the mag and it's just, I don't know why but I, I just love the M14 and if you're not new to the channel you, you know that I love the M14 it is my babe but yeah I actually wonder on on where the zombies community is going to go from now on I think uh, with moving forward I might actually with content uh, do maybe like two videos a day maybe if you're lucky you might get two videos a day I don't know okay it's all up to oh my god up to my brain capacity because I don't even know if my brain can comprehend on talking for two videos every single goddamn day because yet again I am still sick and still begging you guys videos which I hope you guys appreciate because my throat is really sore. I need I need like uh, strepsils or something. I'll probably go and buy some strepsils uh, after this uh, round five gamers absolute champions. Now the Olympia is good. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not gonna completely dog on it. I'll give it its props. Uh, it's a shotgun, two round shotgun. It does a good amount of damage, close range. Well, nah, nah, it's a play shotgun. It's supposed to do, like, a lot of damage close range. Um, it's a pretty good gun. And we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, so it turns out it is getting very, very hectic. I feel like this, like, training area is actually pretty good. The first run was a fluke, okay? The zombies, um, they, they cheated, okay? There's no way that they beat me. Reali realistically, okay? We've got 5,000 points, guys. We can pack a punch. If only I actually could pack a punch. Okay, so uh, we are now in round six. We are absolutely just crushing it right now. You know, from last game to this game, I'm, I'm just I'm just doing better, you know? first As I said, first game's a fluke. Oh my god. Yeah, no, okay. Now, now that he's taken two shots to kill every single zombie, uh, it's gonna start getting a little bit harder, uh, but we never mind All right for our second map. Yes, you see it right. We're playing town. Yeah they're, they're, Okay, this whole area starts as a starter room. It's just the same rules apply. I cannot open up any doors uh, That's about it really all I could buy is the wall buy guns and I am buying the M14 I, I just don't want to use the Olympia in Olympia because I literally used it uh, on die rise and I want to give uh, the M14 a chance to shine and see how long I can survive with the M14 not pack a punched now on this map it is bigger it's easier to train that means it's going to be a little bit easier to get to a high round so I'm not going to completely just say the Olympia is dog shit we will test it out a little bit once we get enough points Oh my god, I completely forgot there was uh, stem text grenades in here. Uh, who the hell remembers that there's stem text grenades in here? I, oh my god. Double tap. I just remembered that. Double tap is going to help us so much in this. That is ridiculous. I literally... It literally slipped my mind. Alright, so we're saving up for double tap, apparently. You know, I sort of wish uh, Juggernaut was in double tap spot, because... Uh, that means we'll be surviving for a very long time. But double tap is also a very good perk. It's sim it's like if you get double tap jug like in a row, you're pretty much unstoppable. Like they're the two most OP perks. And then you've got speed collar, widow's wine. I like to say stamina, but stamina up's not that useful. All it does is give you more like stamina to run like. Like a longer distance, I'm pretty sure. I may be wrong about that. Don't don't quote me on it and like hate me in the comment section if I get something wrong. And guys, do you remember this uh, telephone glitch? Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see if we see if we can do it. I'm guessing it doesn't work anymore. Okay, cool. If you guys want to see a video of me like like saying on like what glitches are still like in the game and how to get into the glitches, let me know in the comment section down below because I. I feel like that will be a good video to show you on like what they didn't patch and what they patched. Now there was a lot of glitches. Like I found a new one that they didn't even freaking patch. Uh, which was Nuketown. You know how, how 
Only the like true like OGs know this, but on town uh, you could get not on town fucking Nuke Town. You can get on the uh, one of the roofs. Now when my friend said this, I was like, no way they didn't patch this. Surely enough, they didn't patch it. It took us like an hour to get on the roof, but we got there. Uh, I'll probably pop up on screen on my friend like jumping off the roof. Uh, because he was trying to explore, but it's all about just timing and all the rest of it. And I, I showed you guys this glitch over here that's in transit, where you like go up on the ledge and uh, the zombies just hauled up in like a little area. I don't know if I clipped it or not, but um, I'll probably show a clip of someone in that glitch, because no doubt someone else has used that glitch and done a video on it. And uh, in tomorrow's video, guess what? I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing a surprise game. I'm gonna be playing a game that I thought I would never play, um, like again, because of it just yeah. But I'm gonna be playing it because you know why not? I, I was scrolling through games. I was like, you know what? This would be a funny video just to make. Um, I used to always make. You know, I'm just gonna say the game Apex Legends. I have been doing YouTube for four years but not in like a series of straight this year is the grind year and i've seen the growth of my channel and it is phenomenal uh and again i thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for uh subscribing liking and watching my content even though my content isn't the brightest and i'm not i'm not the brightest with my freaking just anything, really. It's great. Oh, uh, we'll see Olympia. Olympia time. Round five gamers. Absolute champions. Well, round 10 will be more of a, an accomplishment. What if we get to round 20? That would be freaking hilarious. Man, it wouldn't surprise me since this map is literally easy. Hold on a second. Let me just open up my Prime. That's a good flavor. Prime sponsor me. Or Monster, whichever one. They're both really good drinks. If I were to decide on which drink is better, I would say Monster Energy is the best drink. Uh, I know a lot of people would agree with me because a lot of people will say Prime tastes like donkey piss. I, I say no to that because some flavors actually aren't that bad. And like 300 like electrolytes, come on. If you were, if you drink Prime, what is your favorite flavor? Genuine question. What is your favorite flavor of Prime if you drink it? If you don't drink it, just say your favorite soft drink or your favorite, like, drink, drink in general, really. Like, my go-to drink when I'm, like, down at the shop, so I'm looking at the fridge, I'm like, I I'm grabbing me a Big Am, you know? Like a chocolate Big Am. Or well, actually, no, strawberry. No, wait, hold on. Banana. Banana's actually fire, bro. Once you taste banana, bruh, you ain't going back. It's like it's like a, it's like when you suck dick. You can never get the taste out of your mouth. I don't know why I just said that, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, but yeah, as I'm, as it just tastes good. Okay, you can't go wrong with big M. Even oak, you can't get wrong, go, get wrong with that. Go wrong with that. Like they're both such good companies, and they both make such good drinks. And a lot of people hate Logan Paul because of the wrongdoings he's done. I, I get that, I get that, I get that. I mean, uh, the Japanese incident, I think there was an incident there. Uh, and then there was a, like his crypto zoo incident, I think it was. It was some shit. Okay, okay, we have, uh... Oh my god, okay. I tried to outsmart them and jump over them, but I couldn't do it. Um... We're going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.